In this module, we'll discuss how devices are classified in Korea and the differences between those device classes. Proper device classification must be determined before starting the rest of your application. Let's take a closer look. Manufacturers determine the classification of medical devices by referencing the rules found in MFDS Notification No. 2014-110, Regulations for Product Classification of Medical Devices and Class by Product. These rules are similar to those used for device classification in the EU. A database of device descriptions with corresponding class and category is also available on the MFDS website. Just as they are in many other markets in the world, medical devices in South Korea are classified based on the level of risk they present to patients and or users. This is determined by examining different criteria such as the duration of contact with the body, degree of invasiveness, and local versus systemic effect. This risk-based system results in a classification. South Korea's medical device classification scheme is similar to that of Europe. There are four classes of medical devices, class 1, 2, 3, and 4. Class 1 devices represent the lowest level of risk as they're not complicated to operate nor do they pose great risk to the patients. All non-invasive devices are class 1, unless one of the medical device directive rules states otherwise. Examples of class 1 devices include a scalpel, eyeglasses, or a stethoscope. Class 2 devices pose slightly more risk. Examples include an island dressing, examination gloves, or a thermometer. Class 3 devices introduce an even higher level of risk. Examples include insulin pens, laser scalpels, and dialysis machines. Class 4 are the highest risk devices. Examples include a pacemaker, heart valve, or breast implants. The next section covers some of the entities involved in the registration process. 